Good, thanks. Punch for me, baby. Greetings, and welcome back to my generational Nuzlocke series. Now, fortunately, we only have two Pokemon trainers to go before we're done. I skipped his dialogue a little, for a little bit, but he basically says we, we will sell anything, so he's basically the darts of Team Rocket. Okay. Just flood him with quick attacks, don't even give him a chance to respond. Yeah, well, I don't have anything to worry about. One quick attack that he tanks his health. We're good. Get him, get him, Kenny. Good boy. Nope. He ain't staying in it. Good. I'm glad that, that supersonic failed. Cause I don't have time for that. Yeah, well, stay mad. We, the next opponent's gonna be using electric type Pokemon, so we're gonna rely on low and low him here. So let's go. Do you really think I care about property laws right now? I do, by the way, I'm just trying to intimidate this brat. Yeah, you don't stand a chance, water gun him. Yeah, water gun is still not very effective. In terms of like how much damage you can do to anything that isn't weak to it. It wasn't actually not very effective. Oh, that's not gonna mm, Okay, good, 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 good. I was worried that that would disable tackle. Do not want that. Yeah, there we go. That's what I like to see. Yeah, keep disabling, that's not gonna do anything. I say is he as well as stuff having his water gun be the same. <sighs> Very quickly at that. Okay. I was about to say, don't make me a liar, kid. Start showing some of them electric types. Although Voltorb has access to basically two the electric attacks, so he barely qualifies. Other than just having the weaknesses of an electric type hey, Pokemon, but hey. And Lohan will eventually learn some ground type moves, by the way, but that's gonna be a while. Good crit! Good crit. Let's finish him off. There you go, good boy, Lohan. Okay, good. It's copy. Let's switch back to Kitty then. I was thinking his next Pokemon would be a Magnemite and I wouldn't be able to bring Kitty out because he's down to level some Pokemon in this two -man, currently two-man team. <sighs> yeah, the only problem I have is that because I'm playing Red, the only Pokemon I'll be able to catch in Route 4 that isn't a Duke is Ekans, and because we have a poison type on the team, it would just get benched like that Spearow did. Uh, oh god, I didn't buy any. Take him out for me, Kenny. I didn't buy any potions while I was burying half our team. Yeesh. Okay, well, that's okay. We shouldn't come across any more trouble until we get to Cerulean. We'll take each take one. No being greedy. Yeah, that's right, big kid. Don't be greedy. Now, before the whole Twitch plays Pokemon thing, 
I used to, to always take the dome fossil because of a uh, theoretically simpler design. I mean, they look exactly the same in game, so it's not really that big a deal. But I'm not going to go against the Helix, cult Helix cultists on this one. I say clicking on no by accident. We're just going to go ahead and take this and make people happy. Presumably. Though I, I don't know if A will even get far enough to unfossilize it, let alone B, whether or not I'll need it or want to use it by then. That's way far down the line, so hey. Uh, no. Yeah, I'm just going to this one because Kenny's supposed to be at the top, being the lowest level Pokemon on this two-man team. Let me see here, because I do remember there being an item I can pick up on the way to Cerulean here. Yeah, here we go. There's a technical machine. And I don't remember exactly what it is. Let's see, use. Whirlwind, okay, that is 100. Ah. Actually, I might want to hang on to that, because that is a phase move, as in it, um, it takes Pokemon out of the fight, thus rendering any status buffs they have, uh, dispelled. So, it might be useful in the future, it's not gonna be useful anytime soon, though, so, we're just gonna hang on to that, I think. So, first things, actually, no, first things first, let's heal Kenny up, and by a lesser extent, low him. Yes, heal, please. Uh, I am not looking forward to talking to darts right now. But if we're about to come up to a fight with them, which is what we're going to need. Go ahead. There we go. This is why we're going to need things like this. And I might as well take the one that I put away out of thing put away out of storage. Okay. And put this whirlwind in storage while we're at it. Okay. Okay. Now mind you, I think my team can handle. Uh, I think my team is around the same level as uh, Darts' Pokemon, but he has a team of like 4 or 5 at this point, so... Actually, economy states I'm going to lose. Let's see here. And now you give me repels. Wonderful. Ugh. Alright, thank you. Item. Okay, well, <sighs> let's see what we can find. Any pitchies or sparrow or spiros we come across will activate the dupe clause, meaning that we will have to, meaning that that encounter won't count as the encounter for the for the uh, route. Oh, now this on the other hand we could use. Because as devastating as Hyper Fang was against us, it could be a, it could make for a very powerful ally. And one that I think is somewhat durable as well, typically. But I am not gonna try to weaken this thing down. I'm just gonna throw a ball at it and see how that goes. I don't think it's gonna work for us though. Yeah, no. Yikes. Okay, well. Um, well, actually. Actually, I think Water Gun. I think Lohan's special is kind of low. 
So we're gonna switch to him, and then I'm gonna look at his stats while this rat that I choose on him a bit, or just slaps him on his tail. Either one works. Stats. Yeah, his special is, uh, like, 10, 12 lower than his attack, so I'm just gonna water gun this. I'm just gonna spit on this rat and lower his health that way. That's a quick attack, which is a good starting point. <laughs> okay, good. Yikes. Pokeball, please. Like, I know the level difference is 10 levels, but goodness. Okay. This is actually a good Pokemon to get because Radina is somewhat real, actually somewhat reliable, especially Radicate. You want to give a nickname to Radina? I kind of have to, but them's rules. So let's see here. So I need a D20. somewhere. Um, what? That was weird. Okay, I don't know what happened there. There we go, a d6. So we roll the d10. Okay, so this Pokemon's gonna have eight letters in its name. So we can put that away. Then we roll the d20 to, 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 to determine what the first consonant is going to be. Six. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. We roll the d6 to see what, what the first vowel is. Five. So, you roll for consonant. Eighteen. Ooh. Okay, uh, that's, that's that, consonant 3, that is I, uh, that's, sorry, roll for vowels, 3, that's I, a 3 on a consonant roll would be a D, and we get 9, so, let's see, 1, 2, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And four, which is an O. Hooksaluzo. That's gonna be a mouthful to say. Pokemon Hoosa Luzo. Ten, and it's going to need roughly seven or eight levels of, of work after the fact. Or now that, he, now that Huxaluzo is level fourteen, we're going to pop a couple rare candies on him. Just to kind of help him out a bit, and he has Hyper Fang now.
so he should be a good deal more effective. I do want to get him at least one more level, though, before we go fight darts. So, let's heal up. And panic, because we're about to do something that we might regret here. But because we're nowhere near ready for Misty yet. Here we go. Oh boy. I still am not going to actually say his lines because I cannot hope to have my voice match his. So you're just going to have to pause the, the video and spot to just read what he says. If you're not already familiar with the character, Darts is supplemented here. Or supplanted, rather. <sighs> Pidgeotto. And level 18. I may have over underestimated the level this thing was going to be at, so let's see how Luxo does. Attack. That's slightly worrying. Maybe more than a little, maybe more than slightly, but. Okay, gets the second Hyper Fang off. Sand attack. Okay. Um. That's cool. Uh, let's quick attack, actually. Finish it off. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I was able to bring it to near uh, Pokemon one hi level higher than it down to near fainting with just two Hyper Fangs. Hyper Fang is really good, especially on Raditza or Radic and Raticate. Okay. No. So in this. I think this and one fight after this with Darts Abra is basically useless because it can only do teleport and teleport doesn't do anything in battle uh, against the trainer because it, in battle it runs away but you can't run away from a trainer fight so it will just use it and nothing will happen. So let's heal Huxaluzo off a little bit. Fail. And I'll get one shot from Hyper Fang. Like a, like a guillotine, but with teeth. And he only has two Pokemon left. So I guess he really only had like three Pokemon that were worth anything. Kind of like my team right now. Ugh. But he also has a Rattata, so this could be problematic. Uh, but I'm uh, actually let's bring Kitty out then and try to get some quick attacks in in case this Rattata decides it's going to try to pepper thing us. Okay, that's surprising. I was certain that Darts was going to be like, Oh, you're going to hyper fang me? I'm just going to hyper fang you right back then. But he didn't. That's, uh, surprising. Which is, I mean, then again, that's like this game's AI, so... Uh, the real Darts definitely would have hyper fang there. Okay, let's get... Get Tuxaluzo back out. Yeah. We are in the clear. <sighs> Feels good. Good. Thanks. Punch for me, baby. Let's finish strong. Good crit. Good crit. Okay. Good. I was hoping that'd be enough for Huxy to, to level up.
the way he said, hey, take it easy, you won already. Yeah, I don't think he, very, I, I don't think he, uh, appreciates Huxaluzo's power very much. <laughs> uh-huh. wants us to talk to Bill, which is up in this room. Ah, uh, but... With how long Mount, Mount, Mount um, Moon was, and... Having to bury half my team in the training montage that we had with Huxy, which is gonna be my new name for him, even though his full name is Huxy Lou, so I'm just gonna call him Huxy. Heal. Yeah, I think this is probably a good stopping point for today. I should be able to get a couple videos out of this recording. Alright. We got to this point in the video. It means a lot to me. Tomorrow is going to be more Caves of Cuts, so I hope to see you there. Farewell.